But yeah, man, a lot a lot to think about, Lou. So you got, you got any comments on this? Well, yeah, I kind of got a BMF story of my own. Okay. If you all don't know, I do all the uh, the thumbnails that you see on YouTube. I'm a graphic designer, have been for- What's the name of the company? Flyers Plus Graphics. Where can they find you at? They can find me at Instagram. Flyers Plus Graphics. Uh, I'll put it down right here. And if you like, hit me up. But- <laughs> This was years ago. Now is it going? It's approaching. It's approaching twenty years. Yeah, because you figured two thousand three. Radian, Radian was born and everything. Um, you just become a daddy. Just become a daddy. And uh, shout out to the seed. Oh yeah, Radian, <laughs> daddy loves you. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't say it like that because she's like, you know, I'm not a baby. Yeah, you just killed her rhythm. I, yeah, her whole rhythm. But no, nah, anyway. she's doing things. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, you know, I was back and forth in Canada. And I had really just started getting into graphic designs kind of heavy. Me and my man Puff, uh, the late Puff. R.I.P. Puff. R.I.P. Puff. And uh, I'm, I'm doing a job. You know, we were getting jobs left and right. I go to uh, FedEx. It was Kinko's at that time. I go up into Kinko's and then I ran into Big Gov, Detroit rapper, Big Up, Big Gov, wherever you're at right now. You know, hit me up. So, you know, he said, Lou, I need some T-shirts because anybody knows I was big in the T-shirts. I was doing all kind of T-shirts, graphics, whatever you wanted. I was hot back then with that. And uh, he says, I got I got a big job for you. And then I'm like, OK, bet what you need, what you need. He was like, I need it done like yesterday. And I said, OK, let's see what this is all about. And, uh, you know, he says, I want you to meet my man. And I keep his name out of it, but we'll just we'll, we'll just say my man. And uh, he says, yeah, man, I, I need like, uh, I think it was like about a thousand T-shirts or better. And uh, I need flyers, graphics. I need banners. I need all kind of stuff. They were opening up a club. And this club, uh, it, it was beautiful. They took me over to the club, showed me what they were doing. It was, it was all kind of... Uh, I don't know. It was like about maybe 2,500 square feet. It was huge. And uh, he says, I need this, this, that, and other. And I'm like, okay, we're going to put this together. So I go to my man Puff and I say, we're going to need some help. And we got uh, his name is Visor De Carlos. He owns the Wing Stop now. If you get a chance, check him out. He's over on the east side. He helped me out. He had, a, he, had he was doing the same kind of work. He, was, he had a graphic design office. So we all go in and we're really pumping away. We're pushing. We're trying to get this work out. And uh, I, I, I wind up going to the to my man and I say, hey, uh, what's up? Uh, you know, let's let's put this all together. And he says, uh, OK, the job is going to be five thousand dollars. I said, OK, let's let's do it. He writes me a check for half because I took half down on the deposit and uh, go to the bank the next day. The check bounced. Uh oh. More bounce to the ounce. Uh oh. Uh oh. Rubbery. Rubbery. Right. We right. Rubber, rubber is in the game. Things are bouncing. We we had put in a lot of work that day, and uh, I'm like, man, I called him up. I'm like, what's up with the check? He was like, don't worry, uh, just try it again. I go back to the bank. It bounced a second time. So I'm like, I called. I was about ready to get a job up, but. I called my man and I was like, uh, so I don't know what's going on, but you said you need this by this certain date because this was the Super Bowl. And it was about 2003, 2004, yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, like that. Yeah, so I, uh, I wound up saying, well, I don't know. What do you want to do? He was like, well, would you accept cash? And I'm like, well, of course. <laughs> right? <laughs> the preferred man is a payment. Right, so... I go down to this club, right? He said, I need you to meet me at the club. And he was like, come along. And I'm like, oh, okay, bet. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm like, what's this all about? This is, this is a little bit strange. So I'm going down to this club downtown, and they're still doing construction. And I'm looking at all the construction. I'm thinking, how are they going to get this done by the Super Bowl? But that's either here nor there. Right. I go up the steps and go into the, into the spot, and there's this... Uh, there's this room. It's dark. I, I mean, it's some, it's like something out of a movie. And it was about 25 dudes, like, in a circle. 
like I couldn't tell no faces. It was just dark. And then my man was like, um, I, I'm about to get you your money and you're about to get it. I just want you to know you're about to get it from BMF. I'm like, oh, I know who the Black Mafia family is. <laughs> I'm like, oh, OK. <laughs> One, I'm 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 happy I'm going to get my money. Two, I'm a little bit terrified because I don't know nothing about you know. You're in a room and you just been informed that you're in a room encircled by the Black Mafia family. Right, the Black Mafia Detroit family. contingent. The the Detroit contingent. So you know, I'm like whatever. You know, I'm a little bit like okay. So this is it. You know, and he's <laughs> like, he's like, how much money do you need? And I was like, I need, you know, right, figured it out. It was close to five thousand dollars, and then uh. You know, he's like somebody out the crew, crowd say, I know that voice. He's like, wait a minute, cut the light on. That's Lou from City Man out at Fairland. <laughs> and then I, I'm like, OK, my blood pressure went down a lot, you know, because I'm like, OK, it's somebody I know in BMF. And then it was like, I didn't know exactly who it was, but, you know, I knew he knew me as a uh, stand up guy, as a stand up guy. So wound up getting the money. We did the job. And, and money came with ease, <laughs> right? Yeah. And we did the job. Everything worked out well. Um, and then towards the end, another cat had hit me up, and uh, he I don't I, c I can't tell you names because I don't know names. He says, "Hey, bro, you were slow with them t-shirts. <laughs> I'm part I'm part of the crew that gave you that money." And I'm like, "Oh, straight up?" <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah." And and I got a problem with with the speed that you came with them shirts. And I'm like, well, the check bounced twice. The dude who was giving me the check, it bounced twice. And that killed two days. He's like, I understand all that, <laughs> but I need to see you. And I'm like, all right, bet. <laughs> and then and I'm thinking, let me meet this dude in a mutual location. Yeah, yeah, a public place preferred. Right, right, right. So I wound up going to a Starbucks or something like that. And we sat down and he talked. And he was like, you know. This is what this is what this is. He was like, you could do T-shirts, you can do, you can do graphic designs, but I need you to work on the speed. He was like, what's really saving you is you a good designer. And then I'm looking like, okay, what's this guy? What's this guy's angle? He's like, we got another party coming up. <laughs> we got another party coming up, and I need you to do five thousand flyers. And I'm like. I'm thinking like, why didn't he just ask me? <laughs> you know, why, we, we why, let a drama over why, 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 why we got to go through that? I would have did it for him right, just off off the strength of the job, you know? <laughs> and then uh, I said, okay, bet. I'm going to do this for you. I started doing the flyer. And my man's called me back, the guy who had put me on. And he tells me, he was like, uh, you, you were supposed to do some flyers. He was like, stop it. And this was right around the time BMF got popped. That around the time of the party. Wow. And that was it. And that would have been just when me and you were meeting, about 0304. Yeah, it was about got, that they, time. I think the indictment came It was. It was about that time. So, no, nah, that was my BMF story. So, big up. Shout out to the old BMF family out there. Shout out to you. Thanks. I'll let you, man. I'll let you, man. Peace. Yeah, get up and get out. Get up and get out. Um, so, for all y'all out there, remember that. Get up and get out. God bless you to get up, have enough sense to get out. Yeah. Um, because, um, you know, I look back, wish we'd have saved more, wish we'd have did more, but the fact that we out here podcasting, as opposed to some of the other outcomes that That's they right. that it could have been, um, God is good, man. God is God good. God is good. So anyway, love you guys out there. Uh, make sure you guys are hitting that like, share, and subscribe button. And do that notification bell. Got a Patreon channel about to launch. It's going to be hot. Really going to give the family a chance for all the behind the scenes and exclusive stuff that we just can't put out uh, via YouTube because uh, they just don't like to do the right thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> they don't like to do the right thing, but we we, we getting that all worked we'll, out right now. We'll have some merch for you, T-shirts. And uh, if you're checking out the T-shirts below, click on one. Grab yourself a T-shirt. Get one for a friend. Get one for a gift. Let me know what you think. Still got, uh, just got to get the calendar right with Big 50. Got some people from the PA crew. Um, just got some of the local, you know, former basketball. Past big fellas from YBI that um, 
<laughs> just working with getting those guys comfortable coming on the pod. They got a, f- a fascinating story, um, you know, with the success of getting this BMF story uh, and TV show. It is Detroit's turn. It's our turn. We destined for ours. Yeah, it's our turn now. So, thanks again, family. It's your man, CRB Jr., Cordy Robert Robert Jr., here with Big Lou Stevens, Big Boss Filmworks in the house, Motown Mafia podcast. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Holla at your man. Peace. Peace. What's happening, family? It's your man, Cordy Robert Brown Jr., West Africa, the cost Senegal. We're here to talk about a little bit today what was our follow up project after we had came out with. The award-winning book, Motown Mafia, Memoirs of a Kingpin's Kid. I don't know if everyone knows, uh, we actually did another book that wasn't related to the story of my father and Eddie, and that was Mind Right, Money Right. It was kind of our way of giving back. I wanted to share some of the insights and some things that allowed me to have the business success I've had and how that came from it. It's all about exposure, family. You know, when you think bigger, when you've seen bigger, you think bigger. When you know better, you do better. So as I'm sitting here in West Africa, chapter one in this book is called When We Were Kings. And uh, I don't know if you, a lot of people out there, family may not know that by academia, by schooling, I am a historian. So um, I've always had a great interest in where I am, where I come from, and what I'm about, you know. In fact, just recently, um, I took that ancestry.com test. They send you a little kit and uh, you send them a little saliva sample and they can actually tell you family where you come from here. So like I'm 60% Nigerian, a little bit from Ghana, a little bit from um, what is now Angola. So, cause I think, you know, we talk about in this chapter when we were kings, if we understood that every African American has a cousin and family member here on the continent of Africa, likely in South America, if the brothers and sisters here in Africa understood that they got cousins, we'd put this thing together and, and we'd be getting money together. And, and once we figure out that whether you're in South Carolina or, or Senegal where I'm at, we're all in the same boat together. So, you know, I was reviewing the book when we were teens. The air, you know, we talk about the black man Masa Musa who was the richest man that the world has ever known. And that's according to Forbes magazine, right? So if you're not hip on Masa Musa, Google up that name. His empire was right here where I'm sitting now. And just to kind of inspire you, because it wasn't that long ago that a black man was king of this land and controlled the world's oil, or not oil, I'm sorry, controlled the world's gold, silver, salt and was regarded as he was the richest man of his time and the richest man the world has ever known and if we understood that we come from kings that's not just something that the hotel brothers and sisters be saying but it's the truth so we can all do a little bit better but uh um, in, in these times we live now man with all this going on you know this george floyd thing the police shooting us uh, the things and struggles that's going over here on the continent and really just we have people of color all over the world the situation we find ourselves in. You know, give this book a read, man. I'm not just saying as a plug. In fact, I think I'm going to do a little promotion when I get back, really make it accessible. Um, it'll give you some real insights to really be able to connect the dots. So that's Getting Off Zero, named after Brother Ray Tatum's company down in Atlanta. You know, we hooked up about, uh, that was in 07. And uh, Big Boss Filmworks and Getting Off Zero have been doing business together ever since. And well, our theory is simply this, brothers and sisters. If you get your mind right, you'll get your money right. And once you get your money right, you can come and enjoy some of this beautiful thing that we call Play of Earth. So holla at your man. Again, 10 year anniversary of Big Boss Filmworks. We are really, really happy and proud. We thank you guys so much. Check out our catalog. Getting Off Zero, Mind Right, Money Right. You want more of the real intel, detailed stories of how Pops and Eddie Jackson, the fat man, put it down in the 70s. Pick up the book, Motown Mafia, Memoirs of Kingpin's Kid. You got Amazon, check out the doc, Motown Mafia, the story of Eddie Jackson and Courtney Brown. And also, our newest works, Motown Mafia, Big Man on Campus. Give us a shout, 10 year anniversary, 
Big Boss Filmworks, BigBossFilmworks.com. Salute, peace, and thank you all. I'm out.